post-traumatic stress disorder. Of course, we will be looking into just understand what this really is at the wake of a traumatic events that have happened um, to various people and to just also look at the numbers in the country and across our borders to find out who are most affected by PTSD. Who gets it? What are the symptoms? What are the causes? What are the effects? afterlife of um, having these things. Our guests tonight um, took part in the um, retrieval of bodies at the quarry dump site. Now he's already in studio, stay tuned for that conversation. Let's begin with our top story tonight. Now the National Assembly has today concluded the vetting exercise for cabinet nominees. There were fireworks as Ali Hassan Joe had to defend his education certificates as Alfred Mutua came under fire of a scorecard of his tenure as former Machakos governor weekly for Paranya. On the other hand, a former head world opposition diehard now getting into government had to enumerate his focus on matters hustler fund. George Maringa with that report. Some people call me, but I'm the chairman of this committee. Come Sunday, seemingly following the footsteps of the Supreme Court, the National Assembly Committee on Appointments continued with its sessions through the weekend. First on the grill was two-term Mombasa Governor Ali Hassan Joho, who, if approved, will be at the helm of the mining, blue economy and maritime affairs docket. Joho was put to task to defend his education certificates. I'm very surprised if this question did not come up because it comes up every time there's an opportunity for me to do something. <laughs> every time. It started when I was running for MP. So yes, I did not do well in my secondary school. I got a D minus, no doubt. But Mr. Speaker, I turned that around. Today, as I sit here, I hold two degrees that are before you. Mr. Speaker, I am on my pathway to attain a master's degree from the most prestigious university in the world, and that is achieved by determination. Mr. Speaker, I want to tell Junette, Honorable Junette, I, Alfred Nganga Mutua, do swear that the evidence that I shall give before this committee. Next was former Machakos Governor Alfred Mutua, who will not be stranger to national government matters. Having handled two ministries, this will be his third portfolio under the Kenya Kwanzaa government, and his past would come to haunt him. And so we're going to remove all the bottlenecks and I'll have a cabinet paper to remove the bottlenecks and provide opportunities for people here. Uh, Murugara, you had a question about being abrasive. Uh, that is somebody just being mischievous and trying to use this, this house. People love me. <laughs> Very much. All my employees, you go to means of tourism, you go to foreign affairs, you go to everywhere I've worked. Employees love me. Allow I'm them very, to say so. I'm, I'm very, yeah, uh, uh, self declaration. Yes. yes. Um, <laughs> because I really care, and I've always talked about the welfare of employees. According to Dr. Mutua, who will head the labor docket if approved, industrial strikes will not be a common phenomenon. Another former governor is Wycliffe Oparanya, who was at pains to explain how efficiently Hustler Fund will be managed. Having served as Minister for Planning, his latest troubles with the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission also featured during the vetting. You and already what said I'm going that, to do yes. mm. is that I will make sure that if you give me the chance, I will make sure that proper structures are put in place, that money that is given to the people, out there to our people, it is recovered. It's a revolving fund so that other Kenyans are able to enjoy the money. Former Attorney General Justin Muturi, who faced the panel with Stella Lagarde Soy, closing the second batch of the cabinet nominees. The committee will now retreat to draft a report which will be tabled on the floor of the House for adoption or rejection. If approved, this cabinet will be a broad-based one going by the announcement of President William Ruto. George Maringa, TV47, Nairobi.